France is losing their minds they can't believe what just happened to them. Niger, a nation that heavily relies on exporting its resources, particularly uranium, to France, has taken a bold step in revoking licenses of French companies extracting its resources. This decision comes after years of exploitation and a growing weariness within Niger towards these ties. By suspending uranium and gold exports to France, one of its major trading partners and the seventh largest uranium producer globally, Niger is signaling a significant shift in its approach to resource extraction and foreign relations. This move could send shockwaves through the Western world, particularly France, which heavily depends on African resources for its energy needs. France's energy security, closely tied to uranium imports from Niger, would face a notable challenge due to this ban. The decision to suspend government bond issuances in the international market further underscores Niger's resolve to assert its sovereignty and renegotiate the terms of its engagement with external entities. The historical context behind this decision is crucial in understanding its significance. The relationship between France and its former African colonies, including Niger, has deep roots in colonial exploitation. During the era of European imperialism, France, driven by a quest for resources and power, subjected African nations to brutal exploitation and plundered their natural wealth for its own gain. France's interest in Niger's uranium reserves dates back to the early 20th century, becoming pivotal for its nuclear energy program. Orano, the French nuclear giant operating in Niger, has long been at the forefront of this extraction enterprise. However, the benefits of this relationship have largely accrued to France, leaving Niger with little in return but poverty, environmental degradation, and social unrest. Niger's decision to ban Orano's operations signifies more than just a contractual dispute. It symbolizes a rejection of a historical pattern of exploitation that has persisted for generations. By revoking the license, Niger is reclaiming its sovereignty and demanding a fair share of the wealth generated by its resources. This move represents a broader assertion of agency and a shift towards more equitable relationships with external partners. The impact of this decision on France's energy security cannot be understated. The uranium mined in Niger has been crucial for France's nuclear energy production, playing a significant role in maintaining its status as a global leader in this domain. The ban on uranium exports could potentially disrupt France's energy strategy, leading to repercussions in its domestic energy production and broader energy security concerns. Niger's decision to ban uranium exports to France carries profound implications for both nations. It represents a pivotal moment in the redefinition of their relationship, challenging historical patterns of exploitation and signaling a new era of sovereignty and self-determination for African nations. France's energy security has long relied on its robust nuclear power industry, with approximately 40% of the nation's electricity stemming from nuclear reactors. This reliance has positioned France as a global leader in nuclear energy, offering a level of independence and stability that few other countries can match. However, this stability hinges on a consistent supply of uranium, a resource in which France lacks significant domestic reserves. Niger's uranium has been a cornerstone of France's nuclear energy strategy, providing the raw material necessary to fuel its reactors and uphold a dependable energy supply. The recent revocation of Orano's license in Niger poses a substantial threat to France's energy security. Without access to Niger's uranium, France faces the risk of decreased nuclear output, potential energy shortages, and a heightened dependence on less stable energy sources. The economic ramifications for France are equally severe. The nuclear industry is a vital component of the French economy, supporting numerous jobs and generating substantial revenue. Disruptions in uranium supply could lead to increased energy prices, straining both consumers and businesses. Furthermore, the loss of Niger's uranium may weaken France's ability to export nuclear technology and expertise, diminishing its standing in the global energy market. Beyond France's borders, the implications of Niger's decision are far-reaching. France's reliance on nuclear energy has bolstered its status as a major global power, enabling it to pursue an assertive foreign policy and project influence worldwide. However, without a stable uranium supply, France's capacity to maintain this level of influence could be severely compromised. 
Additionally, Niger's decision could spark a ripple effect across Africa. Other African nations, inspired by Niger's bold stance, may endeavor to reclaim control over their resources, challenging the dominance of Western powers. This shift could prompt a significant reconfiguration of global power dynamics, potentially positioning Africa to play a more central role in determining its engagements with the rest of the world. Niger's move to revoke Orano's license encapsulates a broader shift in the power dynamic between Africa and the West. Historically, African nations have been relegated to the role of passive suppliers of raw materials, with limited agency over resource utilization and wealth distribution. However, this paradigm is evolving as African nations assert their sovereignty and demand a fair share of resource-generated wealth. Niger's decision sets a precedent for resource-rich nations to follow suit, fostering greater sovereignty and economic independence across Africa. This transformation could reshape Africa's relationship with the West, as nations strive to develop industries, technologies, and wealth of their own, potentially altering global supply chains and economic structures. The resurgence of African sovereignty is poised to have extensive geopolitical ramifications. As African nations assert control over resources and assert independence, new alliances and partnerships may emerge within Africa and beyond. This shift could lead to a more multipolar world, where power is distributed more evenly, and Africa's voice resonates more distinctly in international arenas. In response to Niger's decision, France and other Western nations are likely to adopt a multifaceted approach involving diplomatic negotiations, economic incentives, and potentially coercive measures. Diplomatically, France may seek to engage with Niger's government to restore Orano's license or secure alternative agreements for uranium access. Economically, Western nations might explore diversifying their uranium sources by investing in mining operations in other regions. However, any response will need to navigate the evolving landscape of African sovereignty and the changing dynamics of global power distribution. The recent decision by Niger to revoke Orano's license has significant implications for France's energy security and broader geopolitical dynamics. With the potential loss of uranium supply from Niger, France faces the challenge of maintaining its nuclear energy output and economic stability. Diplomatic and economic strategies are being considered to address this issue, but there is also the looming possibility of Western nations resorting to coercive measures such as sanctions or political pressure to compel Niger to reverse its decision. However, such heavy-handed tactics could backfire, further alienating African nations and accelerating the trend towards greater sovereignty and independence. Western nations must navigate this delicate situation with caution, recognizing that the rise of African sovereignty poses a challenge to the existing power structures that have long defined international relations. Failure to adapt to this new reality could result in Western nations being sidelined as Africa forges new alliances and partnerships with other regions. This critical juncture demands a re-evaluation of outdated models of exploitation and control in favor of approaches based on mutual respect and partnership. The question remains, will the West embrace this new era of African sovereignty or cling to traditional power dynamics? This decision will not only shape Africa's relationship with the West but also influence the global order at large. Niger's bold move may indeed signify the beginning of a new era in international relations, marking a shift away from Africa's historical marginalization as a mere supplier of raw materials towards a more active and influential role in global affairs. For too long, Western powers have dominated global trade, finance, and diplomacy, dictating terms to African nations. However, the tide is turning as African countries assert their sovereignty and take control of their resources, positioning themselves as key players in the global economy. Africa's vast natural resources, youthful population, and economic potential present opportunities for driving global growth and innovation in the decades to come. The continent's rise in sovereignty may challenge existing global power structures, prompting demands for a greater voice in global governance and reforms within international institutions. This shift could also lead to the emergence of new geopolitical alliances and partnerships, with Africa playing a more central role in global diplomacy and security. While this new era of African sovereignty offers promise, it also comes with challenges. 
African nations must address issues such as corruption, political instability, and social inequality to realize their economic ambitions fully. Overcoming these obstacles could lead to a more just and equitable global order where all nations have a say in resource utilization and benefit from global economic growth. Niger's decision to revoke Orano's license symbolizes a broader movement towards sovereignty and independence in Africa, marking a shift away from historical exploitation towards mutual respect and cooperation. This turning point in the Africa-West relationship signifies the continent's readiness to claim its place on the global stage, challenging Western dominance and ushering in a new era defined by sovereignty and independence. As we navigate this period of profound change, embracing Africa's rise in sovereignty and working towards a future of equal global participation is crucial. The era of nuclear colonialism is waning, and it's time for a more inclusive and collaborative approach to international relations. The impact of Niger's decision on France's energy crisis and the West's collaboration with Africa remains to be seen but it undoubtedly signals a shift in global dynamics towards a more equitable and mutually respectful future. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.